Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me again. It's been a long time. Uh, I have a couple of videos that I'm going to be releasing over the next week or so. I could have sworn that I already did these, but as I look through my library, I see I haven't done any of them. Uh, so I definitely owe these videos to, to everyone. These are um, the result of a lot of questions that I have. So I want to talk to you actually about a product today, and I want to, I want to preface this by saying no affiliate links, no nothing. I am just a super fan of this product. It is inexpensive. It is, I think, absolutely indispensable when it comes to matching color, uh, or at least reading color, uh, off of strange samples, and also being able to see how close of a match I actually get when I when I print or to compare samples. And the product I'm talking about specifically is called Color Muse, and I can do that right there. Um, I'll, I'll throw a link somewhere. Um, but this is a very small, as you can see, a very small uh, device, those of a certain age. Uh, it's about the size of a 35 millimeter film canister. And what it is, is I have, I don't know how well I can pick that up, uh, so I'll probably get a static image of this, but I have a, um, uh, a little read button here and then a micro USB. I'm not crazy about that, but you can still get cables for that, no problem, uh, for charging it. Uh, on the other side, I have a cap, and I can actually remove the cap. So the cap is its own calibration device. And then this is a color sensor right here. Okay, so I can plug the cap here so it doesn't get, get uh, damaged. Uh, but this is a color sensor. Specifically, it's a colorimeter. Colorimeter means it's measuring red, green, and blue values, and it can return, actually, um, uh, my color values in lab color, LAB. That's going to be really, really important as we as we go through this. Now, the nice thing about the Color Muse is that it comes with a phone app. Uh, so if you have a mobile device, and actually you need a mobile device. Uh, oh, I should point out, this is somewhere around $70, $75, something like that, for, for the, the cheapest one that they have. And honestly, that's all you need. Um, there are some additional versions, you know, a, a deluxe version that comes with a carrying case, stuff like that. It's fairly robust as long as you're not going to be stepping on it. Um, but you do need a phone. Uh, it connects wireless, wirelessly, wirelessly, I can say that, uh, via Bluetooth. And what I'm going to do now is actually demo that for you so that you can see exactly what's going on. All right. So I have my phone up here. Um, I have my device already connected. And so I do have the cap in place, right? So it's covering the sensor right now. Remember, that's the calibration cap. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit the calibrate button. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's just calibrating the device, right? Making sure that it reads properly. All right. I'm all set. You can see now, hopefully, that the uh, the button has changed to scan now. Um, just so I can show this on screen, I, I have a limited number of cameras. Um, but what I'm going to do is, uh, let's say I have uh, a red notebook here. I don't know exactly what this red color is. This is something that a customer gave me and said match it. I look up in my Pantone book. There's stuff that's close but not exact. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and put this against it, right? So now my color muse is sitting here. This is really weird when the camera is backwards. And then I'm going to hit scan now. And when I scan now, you'll see that immediately it came up with lab values, right? So I've got, you know, rounding up here, we've got 40, uh, 58, and 31 for my lab values. Now at the bottom, it has closest matches. These are for like paint colors and things like that. They do have a Pantone library available for additional charge. Honestly, it's not necessary. What I like about this is that it gives me li my lab values because in a, in a future video or a couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to use those lab values in your design software, in Flexi, in Onyx, right? So that I can, I can get as close a match as possible, right? But I have those lab values. Now, I want to switch gears really fast here and talk about something uh, something else, which is color matching. So let's uh, let's switch over the app here and I'll show you that. All right, 
So in the app, I'm going to choose, instead of the color match here, I'm going to choose compare. And when I choose compare, what's going to happen is it's going to come up with this nice little dialogue here. Uh, it's going to give me the option down at the bottom to choose either scan standard or scan sample. So what I'm going to do is I have a Pantone. This is, I think they call it bridge now or something like that. This is an older book. It's the solid to process book, right? So what I have here is um, Pantone colors and uh, their closest CMYK approximation. So I'm going to specifically choose uh, this line right here, which is 192. Okay. And the Pantone people say on an offset press, the closest they can come is 0, 94, 65, and 0. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and position my sensor over the Pantone color, and then I'm going to hit scan standard. And it comes in, you see half of that circle is now filled, and I have the standard. Now what I'll do is I'll move this over to the other side, to the CMYK version, and I'll go ahead and hit scan sample. And when I do that, what it's showing me is how much of a difference there actually is between my desired color and my printed color. You can see that's, it says right on there, significant color difference, right? This is a 4.39 delta E difference. There are colors that are going to be close. There are going to be colors that are far away, right? If I try and do an orange 21, I'm frantically looking in the, uh, in the book for colors that are really, really, really close. Um, but if I choose something that's like, or, you know, orange 21, it's going to be off by a lot. It wouldn't surprise me if that would be a delta E of nine or more. Um, but what I can do with this then is I can get a much better approximation, right? Uh, uh, some guidance. Yeah, I'm not finding anything quickly. I'm not finding, uh, uh, I can get some guidance about how close really am I? right, as I'm trying to match a customer's color. This is built into the software, right? This is just part of part of this uh, Color Muse software. Um, I absolutely love this product. Like I said, it's like $70, $75, something like that. If custom colors, if color matching is important to you, I 100% recommend this. Um, I, I'm just absolutely in love with it. And uh, I, everybody should have one if they care about color. So there you go, short and sweet. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next time.